Hey, up, everyone! Welcome back to uh, the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, uh, Zelda got turned to stone, and so now we're gonna see what what they have to do. Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Let's see if I can do this. It is ha bah. It is as you all have heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. I can't. If we had the sacred bl uh, if we had the sacred Pakiri blade, we would likely have broken the curse. But Vati sheltered the pl Wow. <laughs> However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pakori? Vikori? That much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I remember correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Vikori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Vikori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within the Minish woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. Oh gosh, can I do it? Uh, why then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once? No, soldiers will not do. The Vikori do not show themselves to anyone but children. And that one guy in Deviantheart. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? Ooh. If Link has recovered, then yes. I would like to ask this of him. Um, I'm, does it, how long has it been? Like a day or two? Uh, please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Um, I'm not sure about this journey. The Picori should know how to re how to create a new sacred sword. But what if I'm not ready? What if, what if I'm still? What if, what if I still need ten more minutes or something? It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Okay? Please take this sword with you, along with the broken Pekoi blade. Okay! I have accepted the broken Pekoi blade to go to the forest and try and repair! This part of the sword, uh, need... This part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it! Or else the whole plot of the game is messed up. You got the Smith Sword! It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. And. I don't know. Actually, where are Link's parents? Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Right, sir! Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Which, when I originally read the manga, I uh, misread it as Derpwood Shrine. Okay. Once humans and Pekoi shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you! If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start with the L and... And be careful. You got a map of Hyrule! Now you'll never get lost! Unless you get lost while reading the map. So we're going there! I'm counting on you, Link. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. All whitey, let's get on to that. that? <laughs> Excuse me. So what's in here? Okay, so let's, let's get the heck out of Dodge and do this thing. Okay. Oh, Whitey. And so this is where weirdness begins, because now for me it's just going to be a lot of checking the map and trying to see if I'm in the right place, and then we need to... Yeah, I think I might cut... I uh, might end up cutting towards uh, when I uh, get it or something. The name's Mutto! I'm head carpenter around these parts. The king himself has entrusted me with this project. 
See that sorcerer's attack tore things pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. So that means we need to find a different way. Now we don't. Now we can't jump in there. And so we need to find and go the other way. I believe. So with that in mind. So with this in mind. Okay. Now those guys are simply not you know, just like at this. Okay. Okay. Wow, my tongue is parched from trying to read. Can't uh, do that, so. Okay. So it looks like we don't have uh good gravy. So right around where we need to go to do the thing. Now let me tell you that um, the part that's coming up next was probably one of the more difficult, probably one of the more difficult things to do. And I was trying to figure out how the heck to do this, so I can't go over there just yet to get the to get the uh, uh, piece of heart. So. The one thing I was kind of disappointed to figure out, uh, to figure out was I can't really do the the sword. Thing, the spin, not the spin dash, the spinny, swordy, tacky thing. I can't remember, it'll probably come to me later. Either way, so, so I explored around here and found stuff, and we are, and I don't have everything. But we can actually see some evidence on how the heck to get some stuff here, there. Okay. Okay. We have this thing which I uh, can probably make a machinima out of if I'm if I really want to go out of my way to do something like that. Yeah, so I was stuck um in my like initial playthrough try and figure out controls and such, I got really stuck on this part. Until I figured out uh, what, how the heck to trigger the thing. Which I believe- YEP! HELP! Okay. HELP! HELP ME! Let's see if I can get- OUT! WILL SOMEBODY STOP THEM?! Oh my goodness gracious me. What's this gonna be? OW! OW! SOMEBODY! CAN SOMEBODY HEAR ME?! Look at my- okay. Actually, thinking about it, let's go over here. <clears throat> here we go. So, hey, kid, you're over there. Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Don't you like watch me? Oh, yeah, that came out wrong. Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Just like do this, do that. Frick, why the frick are the Phew! Well done, that was close. Not that I couldn't handle myself. Them myself, wow. That's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho oh, ho, I see. The Picori, you say. And Fatty? Fatty's cursed someone, what? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. Well, you know, you and I have a lot of common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Addies. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break this curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy! My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay. What, is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude. Wait, 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 I say! You're... You walk so quickly, too quickly and fast! Can't you go any slower? Show you've noticed I have no legs! Boy, take a good look at me! Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ah! This is one thing, it's another! You're a troublesome boy!
I'm slapped in the face and this is the... There! Now you can't possibly leave me behind! Hey, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming! Can't you sit still? See! There! Yes, that's it. Much better. Now suppose a boy like you has much to learn about the world. If you ever need any insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a helpless child. And now we have uh, the traditional link cap on our head. And I and I still and I still say to myself that I need to. Oh, hold on for a moment, boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're too far big to meet them now. Wow, that came out weird. Eh? Why the Minish? Ah, yes. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Bikori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in a world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny little itty bitty village where they, where they now live. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with that. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a torch smaller first. Ah, I can't, I can't read and speak. Up, oh, crud, I missed one. No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use the shrink down to minish size. Just stand at the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R again. Get me up there, and we'll be, and we'll give it a try. And suddenly, the magic glowing things though. So we have magic glowing things, and then he speaks in rooms, and then some crazy stuff happens, and then, and so then, then suddenly. Bada bing, bada bang, just like that. We're uh, we're hopping on some shrooms. Okay. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, oh, aren't you glad that I, that you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Pearls that reduce your size are all around, in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to the portal and press R. But there's one thing you must know. Being minish sized is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish. And as your companion, if, in, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your own sake, then for my own. My goodness gracious me. And now if we say go up here. So, okay. So we go here, here, here. Okay. You know, um, at this point, like I'm making it up and going, like, yeah. Uh, Ezlo is uh, is uh, Rumpelstiltskin. Like I'm going for something Rumpels, a Rumpelstiltskin type voice type thing. Uh, from Once Upon a Time. That's what I'm going for. And we have reached the Minish Village. That was quick. I'm just gonna play this again. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish Village! We have a mix of Don Adams alongside that as well. Yes. Oh my goodness. Pickle Pokey! Ow, that this is gonna. Creepy Pickle Pokey! You know, with how they're, they've laid this out, you think all all the Pokemon trainers who have been here a long, long time ago? I gather, I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You don't understand what they've ah crud! I skipped it again. Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. Perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. We should look around. So we need to find a linguist in all basics. Yeah, and if we, if we like to try to talk to the people who say the same thing, like Pico Riki, Pico I don't know. You know, I always I don't know. I always seem to cringe whenever I uh, like whenever I'm watching, say, Pokemon. I always cringe a little whenever the Pokemon say the name. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of the cries, say for Pikachu, because it's the thing. So, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? 
Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans have came here. My name is Fistari. I watch the Abbey. Was all the shrine to the north. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? Blah, I keep on getting it wrong. You could use a jabbernut. It'll allow you to understand our tongue. We should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Alrighty. But uh, unfortunately, that's where we have to stop. I uh, thank you all for uh, watching this episode of Minish Cap. If you like this episode, please place a like. If you like what I'm here doing here, please place a subscribe. Pray that I actually speak well. And until next time, uh, this is Kirkland signing out. Uh -huh.